Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome back to Cash Talks Football, where I break down all the goals scored in the Premier League. You have my over 20 plus years coaching experience. I'd like to give you some insight and um, extra evaluation that normal co players don't give, sorry, ex players don't give you, or those idiots on Sky Sports, because they really don't know what they're talking about, and they really can't um, tell you exactly what's really going on in the game of football. Today, we're going to have a little look at West Ham against Spurs. It's going to be a quick video. There's going to be a little couple of points that uh, you might want to take. If you're a player, this is one of the valuable exercises to learn if you're a wide player, especially. There's a couple of teams lately that haven't been doing this very well. Um, if you look, if you've been following my videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, where I just draw a square on the field and show their entire team is on there when they're attacking um, I think Liverpool was one with Joe Gomez and, and the lack of width now this is brilliant from Spurs right here Timo Werner I always have Timo Werner in my side um, over someone like a Mudrick and I'm going to explain that right now Timo Werner is an honest player what I mean by an honest player he's always going to run hard for you he's always going to put in a shift and he's always going to do everything that's asked of him Unlike Mudrick, Mudrick's going to be a lazy player. Sometimes he'll track back for you, sometimes he won't. And when I move it on in a minute and show you um, his movement inside of the box, I'm going to show you the real difference between a Timo Werner and a Mudrick. Um, yeah, but what I'm going to talk about first off is the difference of these two wide players here. And when your heels are on the touchline here, you actually make this a problem. This is a nice solid back four, really good here. But what ends up happening is the amount of players Spurs have got coming forward is absolutely huge compared to the amount of players that West Ham have got coming back on the transition. You know, there's so many West Ham players caught out of shape and position here. But also, because of these two players here, stretching the width the whole time, it makes it very easy for Spurs to pick up any sort of pass. And it's going to be a good pass because these guys, what is time? Time equals space. Sorry, the other way around. Space equals time. Think of it that way. Every time you've got space, that equals time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing old physics nonsense there. Right, so the more space you have, the more time you have on the ball. And that's what these guys have got. Loads and loads of space, so loads and loads of time. So if we move this forward, now the ball gets played from this little wee chappy here, right here, into the middle of the field. I kind of like it, but I don't at the same time. What it also does is it makes, um, gives a little bit more space for Werner over here. And it also opens up this pass here because the ball is now in the middle of the field and he can go both ways, right? Which is which is a really good option, to be fair. Now, this is the difference between a Mudrick and a Werner. A Werner understands that he's already in space. He doesn't need to run anywhere, doesn't need to run offside. Mudrick would have started sprinting down the line like a Muppet and he would have been offside. That's exactly what he would have done because he would have heard once upon a time a coach telling him if... Uh, you want the pass, you must make, you must dictate it by making the run. Make the run and the pass will come. Make the run and the pass will come. Coaches sell it all the time. But if you're in the space, you don't need to run. You just wait for the ball to arrive because no one's coming out to mark him. Look at this guy. It's still out here. This back four is still good and nice and tight. But because they're holding their shape correctly, Spurs, they're making it really, really easy to go and attack. So when the ball ends up coming out here to him, bosh, that's the other difference. When he receives the ball, he stops it. He doesn't try to run and beat the player with his first touch like Mudrick's does. Mudrick, um, if you look at the last video I did, where the ball, he, he goes for his first touch and it bounces off him, goes 30 yards high in the air, and he has to run on chase after it. No, he controls the ball and then he waits. Remember, Werner's got pace as well like Mudrick. That's the only thing he's really got, his work ethic and his pace, where Mudrick's just got his pace. If he worked hard and worked a lot, you know, like Werner, um, yeah, and I know he's young, but I'm still going to criticise the prick. Um... Right now, watch the difference when he goes in to uh, commit this player. He sits there, he waits, waits for the player to come in, waits, waits, and then he uses his burst of pace to get past him. Bosh! And there he goes. There's the difference. And it's not much pace, but it's enough just to get the cross in. And the whole four now have been completely pulled apart. Uh, and what, what do I mean by pulled apart? Because they've been pulled from um, when that pass went from uh, to, you know from the uh, outside to the middle and then back to the outside, they didn't really pick a man or mark anybody. So that run all the way with that um, the player on the blind side there, it was completely utterly unmarked the whole time. He's the one that's going to come in and end up scoring a goal from the finish there. Dosh, there we go. It's that simple. Two wide players end up combining. No one picks them up because well they can't. Let's get on to the next goal. There's not much to talk about in this. Um, on this goal, really, except for the absolutely poor marking of Spurs. If you've got three players here and one player here jumping and you don't have a single Spurs player jumping, there's a problem. That's the issue with this goal. It's the fact that they let Kurt Zuma run and get a free... Well, he doesn't get a header. He ends up getting his back on the ball. It goes into the goal. But 
these guys here have to do a better job. No one has got a responsibility. So, sorry, someone's got a responsibility to mark him, and no one is actually doing their job. You can't have three players stood there all right next to each other. I mean, look how close these guys are. And him completely and utterly free. Not good enough defending. Shouldn't happen at this level. Does. Goes in off the back, and it's an easy goal for them. That's terrible from Spursy. I'll see you next time on Cash Yells at Premier League Defenders. Thank <music> you.